Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Suzette Afghan Square, which uh, you can see here in front of you. Uh, this is week one, option two of the Make It Your Way crochet along. So welcome if you're joining me for that crochet along. If you haven't heard about the crochet along yet, You'll find a link down in the description of this video that will give you all of the details. So this is week one, option two. And uh, it's working the beautiful Suzette stitch. This is a wonderfully uh, subtly textured stitch that is the same on both sides as you can see here. Today for the tutorial I am working this design in a worsted weight yarn. I'm using a 100% acrylic. Uh, called Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand and I'll be working today in the color shadow. If you are working this uh, square as is, you're going to need about 110 yards of yarn for this square. To complete your blanket you will need to make four of these squares. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook or a J10 and a copy of the free written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. And while you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. And of course, if you're working the Make It Your Way crochet blankets, be sure to stay tuned. The other squares will be coming along. Our Suzette Afghan square today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain today for my square, which will give me a square that's about 10 and a half to 11 inches by 10 and a half, 11 inches, uh, I'm going to start by chaining 35. If you need to change the size of your square, you will need any odd number of stitches just remembering that the final stitch is for your turning chain. So today I'm going to chain 35. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, followed by a double crochet worked into the same stitch. You're then going to skip the next chain and into your next chain, work a single crochet and double crochet into the same chain. You're going to repeat this all the way across. Skip the next chain, into your next chain, work a single crochet, followed by a double crochet in the same chain. All the way across until you have two stitches remaining. At the end of row one, you'll have two chains remaining. You're going to skip that next chain and work a single crochet into that final stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. So for row two, we're going to begin working in the single crochet at the base of our turning chain. You're going to work a single crochet into that first stitch, followed by a double crochet, also in that first stitch. Skip the next stitch, which is a double crochet, and in your next stitch, the single crochet stitch, you're going to work a single crochet, followed by a double crochet in the same stitch. Repeat this all the way across. Skip the next stitch, into your next stitch, work a single crochet, and double crochet 
all the way across until you have two stitches remaining. At the end of row two, you'll have two stitches remaining. Simply work a single crochet into that final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Now for the rest of your square until the edging, you're going to repeat that row two. You're going to repeat that row two 25 more times. So this is for rows three through to 27. You're going to single crochet and double crochet into that first stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet and double crochet into the next stitch all the way across, ending with a single crochet in the final stitch, chain one, turn your work and repeat. So again, repeat row two 25 more times. You'll have a total of 27 rows of the beautiful Suzette stitch and then you can meet me back here uh, and we will work a simple edging around our afghan square. Once you have worked through to the end of row 27 you'll have a block that looks like this one and you're ready then to add a simple edging. Now the edging for these squares, if you're doing the make it your way crochet along, is just to make it easier when we go to join these squares together in the end. So you're going to start by joining your yarn with a slip stitch into that top corner of your afghan square. And chain one. You're then going to work 34 single crochet stitches all the way across. So when you're working it across the top of your square, for this particular square, if you've worked it as I have, you can simply work one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Now you can change the number of squares that you're work or stitches that you're working around your edging. Just make sure that you make note of it so that each of your squares can have the same number of stitches to make it super simple when you come to joining these squares together. So for now we're just working 34 single crochet stitches all the way across the top of our square. Once you come across the top of your square working single crochet, you're going to work one more single crochet into your corner stitch and then working along this rough edge, evenly work 34 single crochet stitches along this edge. So all the way across down to the bottom. If it helps, uh, place a stitch marker halfway across, work half the stitches on one side, half on the other, uh, whatever you need to do. You just want them spread evenly. And it can be a little bit of a challenge as there are no pretty places to put your stitches. So uh, just uh, pay careful attention as you go. When you come to your corner stitch, you're going to work one more in your corner Work 34 single crochet stitches across the bottom, one in the corner, 34 single crochet across to your final corner, work one more in the corner and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, which I will do when I come around. Once you have worked single crochet stitches in each uh, stitch and 34 along your sides, one in your corner, all the way around, I'm going to finish off by working one in that final corner stitch and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You can then fasten off, go ahead and weave in any ends and block your square if desired, uh, making sure that they are all the same size for your make it your way blanket 
and uh, and that's it that's all there is to working the Suzanne Afghan square so you're going to if you're making the blanket make four of these set them aside and then tune in next week for the next two crochet afghan squares for this crochet along so thank you so much for joining me again don't forget to subscribe before you head out and i look forward to seeing you again soon until then happy crocheting bye Thank you.